here. I'm here with Jessica Golly. Now, Jessica, how do you feel your, perform your performances so far here this week in Vegas? Well, I've played okay. I was disappointed yesterday in my singles loss when I lost to Ashley. I was really looking forward to beating her, but I played Tanisha are playing really good in doubles, so I'm looking forward to the games. Now, what are you uh, looking forward to here in this match? To win. It's going to be a good game. Um, Tracy and Sandy are both really strong. Uh, they're both one-wall players originally, so we're going to have to keep the ball deep and keep them out of the front court. Now, um, with you and your partner, now what um, what kind of strategy do you have against the, against Tracy? I know obviously she's a great player. So are you. You guys are all great. Now, what is uh, what is your strategy to try to get come out on top with this one? Well, right now, Tanisha and I we've been playing a little bit together in the last few weeks, trying to train and know each other on the court because we never played together before. So today, I think with both of them, they're both just really strong in the front. So we're just going to have to keep them in the backcourt. And do you think with her winning just a little bit earlier in her other match, you think that's going to help you know boost up her confidence today, or do you think it's she's a little bit tired out? Oh, no, she's not tired at all. She's really pumped up for this. She wants to win it today, and then she wants to win the mixed doubles right after and go three three yellow jerseys today. So I want to win it for her. All right, great. Thanks, Jessica. Back to you. Yeah, there's a three yellow jersey uh, mark out there. If you hit it, you get $500 in cash. Well, I mean, these pro athletes, $500 is not a very big deal, but they, they certainly go after it. And, and I think that's what what uh, Jessica Gully is talking about. She wants to win this one for her doubles partner. And uh, that's a little extra bonus. You're watching the World Three Wall Ball Outdoor Championships. My name is Dave Vince alongside Dave Fink for the Watch ESPN and uh, ESPN app. As we give you the women's pro doubles big ball finals right now, Jessica Golly and her doubles partner. Tanisha Grooms going up against Tracy Davis and Sandy Ng. There's a lot of repeats out here, Dave. You were talking about the third time together. Well, Tracy and Tanisha faced off in the mixed doubles semifinals at 8 a.m. They played again in the three-wall singles final and now again in the women's three-wall doubles final. So they're going to be pretty familiar with one another, Dave, after this match. And you see both Tracy and Sandy supporting breast cancer awareness. Jessica said, I'm wearing pink. All over. Jessica, very candid in her answers, Dave. She does not give the canned answer. She lets you know exactly what she's thinking. Well, Sandy, she's a, she is a veteran. She <laughs> has been asked a thousand questions before, and she kind of pretty much gets to the point. She's a police officer back home, and Canada and that's kind of what they're trained to do is just get right to the point and tell you what the rule is or what the law is and yeah and there's no beating around the bush yeah as they say she's a straight shooter Sandy Ng who's Tracy's partner had knee surgery in January she's one of the most talented women players in the world coming back slowly from that said you know I don't want to try singles and cover too much ground while I'm still rehabbing my knee Waiting for Kevin Gonzalez to start this match. I'm not sure what the delay is here. But our referee yeah, is getting these you. big ball women's players together. And after this one, we're going to go over and watch uh, something that's off the schedule, Dave. One wall, small ball men's finals that was uh, to air at 3 o'clock is now going to air at 1 o'clock on the one wall court. That's Pacific time. I hope our viewers can boy. make the adjustment from a one wall big ball yeah, singles final to one wall small ball. One of the players is still the same. Kevin, let's go. All right, guys, let's go, ladies. Zero, serving zero. Fuck's sake, really? Good ball. Tanisha hits a completely flat rollout on the return of serve, Dave. One, serving zero. So Jessica said that she wanted to win that third jersey for Tanisha, but it looks like Tanisha wants a winner for herself as well. Is that a poke fist shot that Tanisha took on that? It looked a little indecisive. One, seven, one. Jessica is a lefty. What a perfect return. Oh, my. It's almost like you feel like you can't do that if you tried. Uh, that was just incredible. Two, serving one. 
Sandy reacted to that shot like it was a walk in the park. I mean, we've said this before, Dave, but that has to be in the top five shots I've seen in this event. Oh my goodness. That was a strange left-handed poke up front there for Tracy Davis, it gets a point. Three, serving one. Davis Ng, three to one. Davis and Ng won this last year. That's true. I think they've even won a previous year as well, back when they may have been playing with the small ball. There was a certain time when it crossed Two, back serving three. from small and went to just ex exclusively big ball. That was a horrible return of serve from Tracy Davis. Three, serving three. She struggled with that overhand right in big ball three while I saw her hit a number of balls over the wall over the wall at La Mirada and then okay. continued to do so here in Las Vegas. I was thinking you're taking that comment over the wall. Four, well, three. I, was, I was doing the calculations in my head, Dave. We're $3,500 out in <laughs> lost balls over that <laughs> fence. That was a nice little feather from Jessica Golly. Well, Sandy Ng playing the right, probably the first time four, that she's been on this four. broadcast in a couple years, or I don't recall the last time, but she has always been small in stature, but can hit the ball as hard as anybody. Look at that leverage she gets on the ball. It's a, it's a quick poke. Tracy plays that wrong. Should go out the door and play that and have Sandy cover her, and the two should be talking about that, but they're not. Five, serving four. They have Jessica and Tracy in their Six, mid to late 30s, four. and they're as fit as any two women you'll ever meet in your life at any age. And this is what happens when people walk onto the court. It's very unfortunate, Dave, that we don't have people that are managing the crowd. Yeah, that is frustrating. We do have people managing Facebook and Seven, cell phone four. text messages, though, on staff. Strange swing there from Sandy. Who doesn't let that Nine, ball and tries to push five. it into the left corner. Dave, there's something I'm seeing here with Team Davis and Ng that I feel we should bring up. It, it's hard to explain unless it happens, but when Tanisha Groom serves those deep serves Six, that she seven, has nine. that are on the back line, and one of the opponents hits it, the her partner needs to run up front immediately and cover the front court. Mm. When you have a traditional three wall small ball player, they're trained to kind of hang back just a little bit because I'm playing the left, I'm playing the back, you're playing the right, you play up front. Well, it doesn't work that way in big ball. When you serve that deep serve, your Seven, partner needs to run up immediately and cover the front court. See how Tracy, really her only shot is to hit something small up front and Tanisha's right there on her on her backside, you're not seeing that same team same teamwork Ten, with seven, seven. Tracy and Sandy here. Ow. See, Tracy needs to be running up front on that deep serve. She leaves herself back, saying, "I'm that's my job. I'm back here playing the lap." Eight, serving ten. They're getting exposed up front. Not a lot of rhythm to this first game. It's really either team's game at this point. We're as close as we can be through 19 points. Nine. Serving 10. That's my just feather up front. Jessica gets it. So much power right there from Sandy. She's going to wall up this one, too. I oh, like perfect that. lob. So Sandy has three consecutive huge setups in the front court and wins the rally with a perfect lob. I 
like that. Sandy's going to have to come way back. <laughs> Unbelievable play up there. Nice rally. As Davis and Ng now somehow 11, serving 10. get a lead here after trailing for most of this first game. And Tracy had the right idea there. She's trying to poke that ball a foot high and somehow hits it 17 feet high. That's off the top of her thumb. We're all together 11, at 11. 11. She went with what it looked like to be a fish shot. Oh, somehow Sandy makes that to the front wall. And there's a side out there. That started terrible for Team Ng. Ended good, though. 12, serving 11. Oh, that was tricky. That ball went right out the door, and there's a timeout called from Jessica Gully. And the score here at 13 to 11 with Tracy and Sandy leading in the opening game of this women's pro big ball three wall doubles finals. We are seeing some long rallies. Sometimes with the women players, I get this feeling that I'm watching a small ball three wall match played with a big ball, the way that they do the deep drives. There's not as much upfront play as we're maybe accustomed to seeing, but it's a different style of game, but a very competitive matchup. I mean, you've got four amazing players on the court, all with contrasting styles. With I think Sandy's really the wild card because she doesn't play on the Women's Players' Cup Tour. Uh, you know, Jessica's traveled to almost all the events. Tracy's traveled to a number of the events. Tanisha, of course, wins all the events, but. Uh, you know, you don't know what to expect from Sandy. You no. wouldn't think that somebody that doesn't play the events would be as good, if not better, than everyone on the court. And I think she probably is. Well, I, just the way she looks out there now, I would put her at least the second best player playing, and she's not even in the women's singles. Right. I mean, you just don't see that happen in other sports very often, where somebody that would be a double specialist is, you know, just focusing just on doubles, but could go into singles and still dominate. I mm -hmm. think she could do it. We don't see her playing singles a lot, but she could, and uh, I'm impressed. She really hits the ball hard. I'm in. She's a former finalist here. In fact, she won in uh, the, the inaugural year of this tournament. Let's go to Molly Jean Trotter really quickly here, Molly. Well, right now we uh, are in the middle of this match, and uh, Tanisha was saying that she's she can't see. She was wearing her Edel handball um, goggles. She's saying I can't see. That might be some of the reasons why she's missing some of those swings. She actually recently just switched out her goggles, so maybe that will make a difference here in the match. But that's definitely uh, something that I noticed here in the crowd. So that might make a difference here in the match. Back to oh, you guys. I'm sure her sponsor really likes hearing that. Yeah, the person that information. <laughs> Contributing. I hope so the much sponsor the isn't listening to that. Can broadcast? we just edit that out? <laughs> and Dave, there's a match being played here. I know that it's hard to to focus on that right now. Thirteen serving thirteen. I love my adult goggles. I do too, actually. I'm sure they're really happy to hear that <laughs> one of their players can't see out of them. Possible game point, serving 13. 14 serves, 13 here for Tracy Davis and Sandy Ng. That's out. out. And that is the first one going to Davis and Ng here. Game. In game number one. Three minutes, ladies. And really, it just happened late. And I don't really know what happened there, but it, they didn't look like they were gelling as a team at the beginning of this. Trailing, caught up. This is one of those things that rally scoring. You get a lot of those side outs, you, you, you just keep tacking on points. It didn't seem like they were even in the lead when they were in the lead at the beginning. And then all of a sudden, there were some hand errors, and, and they pulled it out and got the 15 first. Well, Tracy's probably the greatest doubles partner you could ever have. I mean, she's so positive, and she's so good. And she's really a great leader out there on the court. So I think 
Sandy has a great advantage that if she does miss a shot or two, Tracy's going to be there supporting her and picking her back up. And that's a great feeling when you have the greatest women's outdoor player of all time, uh, you know, supporting you. Yeah. No, you know, I mean, whether you're playing well or, or not. And, you know, Tracy's the type that she's not going to be overbearing and telling you exactly what she needs to do. But if she sees something, she'll say it in, a, in the perfect way that, that just makes you feel like, you know, it's an adjustment that you can make easily. Well, sometimes you say, I, and as a pro athlete, you know this yourself, sometimes you say, you know, I don't mind letting myself down, but I don't like letting other people down. And sometimes you'll have a fan in the stands or even a doubles partner that you're playing with say, I can't lose with this person. I mean, I, I'm used to losing. You won't say this, but, you know, I've, I've had these thoughts in my head where like, I, I've felt comfortable losing or winning, but I don't want to lose for them. I mean, I want them to help me out and vice versa. And it just seems like it's an extra little boost of power. And, and you get it, and you tap into it, and it's a remarkable thing. That's why I believe sports, all sports, not just handball, is a is a mental thing. It's very, very mental. It's it, it, those that are able to tap into the things that they need to tap into in order to achieve what they're going for, are the real champions. The the former Tiger Woods is. Well, I I think it kind of depends on how you grew up. People that grew up playing team sports are probably more comfortable in doubles. I think uh, players that grew up just playing singles maybe feel a little bit of added pressure playing with a partner and feeling like they're letting them down every time they miss a shot. So I think it can go both ways. Uh, but I think, Dave, you know, you grew up playing baseball, which is a team game, and then you've embraced doubles and handball, kind of a transition probably and done really well at it. Somebody that isn't as accustomed to doubles maybe doesn't know how to, you know, have that mentality to work well with their partner and, and they're feeling the pressure instead of the support. Well, I absolutely love it. I mean, at, for me personally, I, I find singles boring because it's too emotional and uh, I try to downplay that emotion you know you have to there's so many peaks and valleys and you have to be able to be a stronger person to be able to handle that I, I really can't but I really do live for watching my doubles partner get emotional and in the positive way and so it seems like I can tap into that energy and bring it up so for me I like it and you can see that you know Sandy Ng grew up just idolizing Tracy and you know she gets to go into the court and even you know outplay her at times but that's because of what Tracy brings to the table. Yeah, unfortunately, broadcasting is not a, a team sport. I think it's actually the <laughs> exact opposite, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's an adversarial. I took it as two singles players yeah. just playing doubles. Yeah, it's two guys on an island, separate islands with headsets on. But enough about us and our problems. Right now, David. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Too. Yeah. Well, it's Tracy it Davis. It takes a lot, long more than, lot more than three minutes to go over those. But go ahead, Tracy Davis. Uh, Tracy Davis and Sandy Ng winning that first game, similar to the first game of the women's singles, where Tracy had a lead and just couldn't close it out. And then you saw Tanisha just gain all the momentum and run away with the second game. We'll see if Tracy and Sandy are able to build on this momentum and close out these great champions in two games. Or maybe, Dave, we could end up seeing a classic. Well, I, I think a classic's going to happen. I, I have a feeling I can kind of smell this tiebreaker, uh, you know, could be imminent. And, and one of the reasons why is because of that headstrongness that, I don't know if that's even a word, but that Tanisha Grooms yeah. possesses when she feels like she's down. She seems to tighten the, the gears, go into an ultra pro mode. I mean, she, she really has another level that she can step it up to. I know this is a, a team sport, but it is really remarkable. And that ball just went over the roof. Now, Dave, could Tracy actually cheat over to the right and take that serve out of the air? Yes, she should jump in. And I mean, I, you know, it's it's better alternative than Sandy running 19 One, feet behind seven, the court, no. which is pretty much impossible. I mean, that's a ball right there that's hanging there, I think. And you see Sandy makes her second straight air, but it's not really an air when you're hitting the ball from 17 feet behind the line. She's literally inside our broadcast Two, booth seven, trying to hit no. that shot. Well, Tracy's telling Sandy to step in, but it's really Tracy that should be stepping in. Yeah. That's Good ball. I think that ball was headed out, but it caught a dead spot on that top board, and it slowed it down just enough that it landed inside the line. That was Tanisha trying to neutralize Tracy from coming in to cheat. Oh, look at that. Sidearm stroke from yeah. Tracy Davis, and they get their first point now, one to three. And Jessica smiling. She knows she needs to cover that front right one, corner and take that deep court kill shot away from Tracy. 
And if, if anything, you, block it from yeah. happening. If you've ever been on the court with Tracy, you know that she's just deadly hitting her right hand into the right corner. That was uh, not her normal swing with her left, Dave. She tried an overhand mid-level sidearm swing when Two normally she hits the three. stiff arm sidewinder. I think she needed the sidewinder there. Oh, no. And just like that, we're at two to three here in game number two. Maybe three to three. No. No. Well, okay. yeah, possibly, yeah. Three, seven, three. That's what I meant to say when I yeah. first said it, but I didn't say it right. That's the first error this weekend. Yeah, you've been on point, that's for sure. Four, serving three. See, Sandy's playing this wrong. Yeah. Needs to come in and play that on the short hop. <laughs> Sandy asked some people in the crowd to move, and they moved Five, literally two three. inches. I'm not sure what moving two inches is going to do. I mean, it's not as though this is the only place on this court to sit. Also, it's not the only place where you can play that ball. Well, We've got two different six, places. Seven, One is Sandy three. can come in and step in and take it on the short hop like she does in three ball, and Tracy can come and poach it out of the air, which is actually the way that this that serve should be played. Yeah. One of those two. I, the I third so. option is to do what Sandy's doing, which yeah. is the last option. Now, obviously, it's easier Four, from here, seven, but I think six. strategically that is the right play. And that's a good serve. You're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage Five, by backing seven, up, six. particularly in doubles, and trying to return this serve from back here in the ah. announcer's booth. Tracy's such an observer, though. She saw what seven, Tanisha seven, was doing five. to Sandy and decided that she was going to do it to here Jessica. Here we go. And that's now Tracy makes the right play there. I think you'll see Tracy really try and step up here. I can see Tracy's body language now. She's but Dave, trying to spark some energy into her team. Six, but when Tracy seven, does seven. that, when Tracy does that, Sandy needs to rotate around and get up in the front court. Immediately, they hit a front corner kill, and Tracy had to go cover her own shot from deep. If your opponent, if your doubles partner is going to have to go deep to hit a ball, you as your partner have to run up and cover. Right. Tracy covered her own shot from back here, and then seven, hit the next seven, shot. Seven. I mean, she doesn't have to do all. We were just bragging about how Sandy was the second best player out here. Well, I think the second best. Oh, oh nice. amazing. Nice I shot from Tracy. Second best ball striker, but she's lacking some three wall big ball experience. She's not really understanding the Eight, tactics. Seven, seven. That's a nice deep serve there. And that ball's up in the roof again, now nine to seven. I mean, how it's frustrating is that for Jessica? I mean, you've hit pretty much a perfect shot, just two inches too high. The wall's. 16 feet high, and you've hit it 16 feet 2 inches. Yeah, that's frustrating. We, we brought this up at La Mirada, but Dave, you know, small ball players like to hit the ball like that and let it rotate out of their hand. They hit the palm of their hand, and yeah. it rotates out of your fingers. And the big ball, it hits the palm and actually rebounds off immediately. And since your hand is tilted back at about a 45-degree angle, it just shoots up in the air. It's really not the shot you want to make. You have to almost open up your hand and have more of a level paddle type uh, approach to that shot to get it to go more flat to the front wall, not so high. Use it as a paddle. Anything over your head has to be used as a paddle, not as a as a ball that's going to slide out of your hand. Yeah, almost a windmill swing with a stiff wrist. Two different shots. Dave, you've got the women's doubles racquetball finals going on in the adjacent court. So that. A pleasure hearing is fans that are able to see both matches. I mean, what a, what a seat, Dave. Is that the best seat in sports? I'm in. Being able to watch the World Championship three wall ball finals. Handball and racquetball yeah, at the same time. Uh, and you know, Nine, seven, seven. it is enjoyable watching athletes perform no matter what the sport is. I agree. That's out the door and Tracy now hits it over the wall. Dave, what number is that on oh. this match? Well, I'm just going by the the money lost, now $3,525. Thank you to our sponsor, Ectalon Outdoor, for Hold it. writing the check on that one. Eight, yeah. Chevy nine. There she goes. She, she steps in and cuts it off and then smiles when she misses it, but that is probably the right thing to do. 
but if you're not comfortable doing it, it's very difficult. Well, coming, she wants to play it back. Nine, but it, nine. That's not really an option here. Now this is going to be dangerous. See, I think Dave Tracy is so nice that she doesn't want to step in and take Sandy's ball, which she just did there. But I feel like she thinks but Sh Sand she's isn't insulting Sandy. Sandy by taking that serve out of the air. I think in Ten, her mind, she nine. might be thinking that. 10 to 9 is the score. I mean, you he know that serve's coming. But see how Tracy needs to cover. Well, Tracy had no chance at that ball. No, she didn't, but she had a chance at the previous Seven, one. Serving nine. There we go. Oh, no. I don't know how they won that point. Tracy hit that return serve from on top Ten, of serving 11. Sandy. Jessica does not call a hinder when the ball be went between <laughs> Sandy's legs. Just play. 11, serving 11. Jessica played that, so. Wow. Dave, we're playing to 15. Tracy and Sandy now three points from this title. I don't know how, though. Whoa, it just seems like they, they're being outplayed on the serve, but they're still getting points. Two bounces, and it is called. Wait, no ball. No good. No good. Good call. Sandy is so quiet that you can never hear her say anything. Well, she gave us 12, that one in 7, sign 12. language, the universal this is two call. Great return. Tracy, once again, needs to get back up there. There's a big shot right here. Oh, look at that shot. Wow. And Tanisha tries to dive in to get it. That was an amazing wide corner kill from Sandy Ng. 13, 7, 12. That's out. Match point now, Dave. It was good to see Sandy rotate out and take, even though she that ball was out, she was out here ready to take that ball off that deep corner. Oh, and now what an unfortunate little. Well, that was going to be trouble either way, Dave. If that went out the door, it was going to be tough. Tracy played it out the door, but then tried to come back and get it. Sandy wasn't 13, over. 13, 7, 14. This, this could be trouble here. This wind is picking up as well. Oh, and there it is, Tracy Davis and Sandy Ng win it with that miss hit from Tanisha Grooms. Tried to go with a fish shot down one inch, one inch high and missed it. Well, congratulations to Tracy Davis and Sandy Ng and congratulations to the WPH broadcast team that will now use that $500 for a victory party for the crew. Is that gonna be in Tahiti or where's that? <laughs> That victory party gonna Actually, be. I mean, we're I know be that. Driving to the beach right after the final match tonight. The beach only four hours away. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Less if we head down to Mexico. Hmm. I think we've got uh, Rocky Point down there to go to. I say we. I'm hoping I'm part of the broadcast team after this is all over with. <laughs> You're watching the Watch ESPN <laughs> app, courtesy of World Players of Handball Women's Doubles Finals. As we are now going to. Uh, move all of our cameras over to the one wall courts to catch the men's small ball finals. But until that happens, let's go courtside with Molly Jean Trotter and our winners for consecutive years. Molly? All right, ladies. Well, first of all, congratulations. How does it feel to win this match? Um, it feels really good to win this match. Sandy and I have been playing here at this tournament together for about four years, and this is our fourth win. So it's just great to come back out here and be able to play and, and perform and, and get a win. So. And Jessica and Tanisha, you know, definitely some good players, some good competition. Uh, how do you feel you did, Sandy? Um, I did the best I could. There was a little mistakes, but um, we pulled through, which is good. You definitely have a powerful shot. I know that was a lot of chat in the crowd that you you know you just have so a lot of power using that to your advantage. Now, uh, any words you want to say to your competitors? 
Um, yeah, um, Tanisha, you know, she's the best player in this game, and it's always a pleasure to play her and just to kind of test my own skills against her. And so um, to get a win off of her, to me, is, is a great accomplishment. Um, you know, congrats to her on winning the singles. I know she's been wanting to do this for, for a long time, and she got the big one, so that was great for her. And, um, you know, Jessica, I've known her for a long time, and she's always a good player. So we knew we were in for a fight, and, um, you know, it just was in our favor today. So, you know, we hope we get to play them again and see what happens. Absolutely. Anything for you, Sandy? No, she said it up. <laughs> Set it off. Great. Thanks, ladies. Back to you. Sandy is so cute, yeah. isn't she? I mean, it's we're amazing. Yeah. Always has been. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. Uh, Tracy Davis there says the right things as well. And she, you know, she knows that she has a target on her back and that Tanisha wanted her. And so that makes you as a competitor also want back, doesn't it? You know, when somebody's gunning for you, it makes you go out and buy a pistol and try to, you know, become a sharpshooter yourself. In wow, a lot did of ways. we go back to Tombstone here? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going back to the 1800s oh, okay. on that reference. Yeah. In that case, then yes. Tracy Davis knows her place in also handball history and wins another title. And if we were able to line them all up, it would actually circle these courts, all the trophies that she has won in the pro category. Someone once said over 50 majors, and she's yeah. only 37 years of age. I would say that's a conservative number. <laughs> I, I, I believe it's more as well. Yeah. But a big congratulations to her in winning another trophy here consecutive years in Las Vegas. The men's one wall small ball finals between Gio and Jarrell Bastidas is coming up next. We're going to take a, an extended break here as we turn our cameras over. But that match is scheduled to kick off at 1 o'clock Pacific time, and it's three minutes before the top of the hour. So we're right on schedule. We'll be back. We're going to take a break for Jeff Kastner, Linda Manning. Chris Garad, Dave Fink, Molly Trotter. My name is Dave Vincent. More of the continued coverage with the world players of handball as we bring it to you live on ESPN and the Watch ESPN app. We'll be back.